Lucian Philip Smith was born in Pennsylvania in 1887, the son of a family involved with the coal industry. Not much is known about the young man during his formative years, but by 1912, Lucian was living in Morgantown, West Virginia with his sister after having attended the University of West Virginia. In January of 1912, his eye was attracted to a young 18-year-old debutante from Huntingdon, West Virginia, named Eloise Hughes. Eloise was the daughter of a U.S. congressman, and her family was heavily involved in the political scene at the time. After a whirlwind courtship, Lucian and Eloise were married in early February and embarked on a honeymoon trip to Italy, Egypt, and France. After two months, they decided to come back to the United States to begin their life together. Eloise was also found to be pregnant. This may have had something to do with their early return. Although they originally planned to sail on the Lusitania, they changed their minds and instead booked passage on board the newest White Star liner, the RMS Titanic. The newlyweds boarded at Cherbourg, France, and their cabin was on sea deck. On the night of Sunday, April 14th, the Smiths had dined and then spent some time in the Café Parisien. Lucien was playing cards with three acquaintances. At about 10.30 p.m., Eloise left for their cabin to go to bed, while Lucien stayed up playing cards. After 11.40 p.m., the engines suddenly stopped. The four men wandered over to the railing and looked around but could see nothing. They resumed playing for a short while. However, shortly after that, Eloise was awakened by her husband, and he told her that the captain had ordered passengers to don their life belts and that women and children should report up to the boat deck. They got dressed and immediately went. The decks were calm, and in her testimony after the ordeal, Eloise stated that the captain wanted the women on a deck in order to load the lifeboats from that location. So many of the women went down to a deck but saw that the windows were covered over in glass and they could not be opened at that time. So they went back up to the boat deck. Officers wanted to load Eloise into lifeboat number 8, but she refused to go. Lifeboat 8 was the first boat launched from the port side at 1 a.m. and was only one-third full. After a few minutes, Lucian turned to her and told her, I never expected to ask you to obey, but this is one time you must. She relented and was loaded onto lifeboat number 6, which launched at 1.10 a.m. Lucian stayed on board with the rest of the men, and Eloise never saw him again. Lucian Smith was just 24 years old. His body was never recovered from the ocean. Eloise was rescued by the Carpathia and tried to send a wireless message to her family back home. Unfortunately, the message was never sent. Family members thought that both had survived, but once she arrived in the United States, the sad news was that Lucian had not made it. His brother even traveled to Halifax to see if he could identify Lucian's body once the recovery ships returned, but never found him. In an ironic twist, the three men who Lucian had played cards with that night all survived by entering a lifeboat on the starboard side of the ship. Eloise gave birth to a son in November, whom she named Lucian Smith II. Interestingly, she married two years later to another Titanic survivor, Robert Daniel, who was picked up from the icy water that night in lifeboat number six, the same boat Eloise was in. She ended up marrying two more times in her life, but ultimately succumbed to a heart attack in 1940 at the age of 46. Thanks for watching Profiles from the Titanic.